your boy uh biscuits from heaven back with another video um matter of fact your boy coast god from heaven back with another video because these motherfuckers right here bro uh pretty much freshly unboxed as you can see over there uh as you can tell a little bit slippery to the touch but that's okay so these are thermal ball uh north face johns um made out of very similar material to Thermo ball uh, jackets by you can see it. Um, these joints are mad affordable. That's why I'm making this video. These are like expensive as hell. I would still make this video, but I'm excused like I wouldn't. But this is an actual recommendation to MFers. I, I feel comfortable showing. I mean, it's it's to me this is affordable. Fifty five dollars for these. You need a copy in the wintertime, bro. These are crazy cozy. I've owned in passing or in actual duration. I've owned all these time and they give you like this kind of for um, just to hang them up if you want to, I suppose. I've owned like almost all the cozy Johns. Uh I've owned Crocs. Uh, you know, I got some slides that they did. Don't look at them, bro. <laughs> Don't look at them. <laughs> I beat let me tell you, I own them though. I beat the hell out of them. Those are boost slides over there. I've owned uh Ultra Boost, Pure Boost, uh Yeezy 500s. Uh again, I beat the shot of my shoes. Um Yeezy 500 highs, 700s. Uh I mean, I, I own them all, you know. Uh not all of them literally, but like these Johns right here to me, they get good support. I like, obviously unlike Boost, it's not like direct support line like like in the case with the sole itself but in this john right here this protection is kind of it's a feedback loop it's kind of like a pillow but like it's obviously firm because the outside is hard there's no comfort in the outside here oh, it's not like a brick like you could probably stretch this if you wanted to like fold it in a little bit okay no you can't but uh <laughs> this and this is the, the top dude I mean, I've owned that uh, thermal ball jacket for about almost a count of a year now, I guess. Um, this material is, like, better suited on here in this shoe than, like... And it get, it's also like, kind of like the same softness but firm consistency, although this actually does have some give. Um, I rock with these heavy, bro. I'm not going to make this a long winter video, but if you are looking for affordable, cozy winter shoes, you missed out on the Crocs, which not a winter shoes... But um, missing the easy Crocs, the easy runners. Um, to me, these seem like, as far as affordable go, like this is probably about as good as you're going to get. Um, and then, like, unlike a lot of other shoes that are, like, probably similar technology-wise in terms of how much they put into making a cozy shoe, they're not going to be expensive. Like, I imagine the knit runners are probably, like, mad comfortable, the easy knit runners. But the problem is you got to have... I think they could retail for like 120 something like that, which is still almost double the price of this. Uh, actually, over double the price of this. Yeah. 55 plus 55 to 110. So, yeah, double the price of this if that's how much they cost. I imagine they do. Um, all of the Yeezys are going to be mad expensive too, except Crocs and Slides. And Slides are not winter shoes, and Crocs are not winter shoes. Um, I can't think of anything else that's this nice. That feels this nice. And again, I haven't beat them like as far as going outside yet. But like, I haven't felt anything that's this nice yet. That's just my opinion. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, please get these if you need a winter shoe. I definitely recommend. And this is kind of this midsole. I really like the. I don't know what kind of material this is. This pattern here. It's not featured on the uh the jacket, but this kind of faux leather type thing, like almost like a um like a mid 2000s like mid tier car uh that joint right there is nice i fuck with it all right hope you enjoy yeah so um my hair looks like shit right now uh give like kind of a reaction to the um to the uh the, the thermo ball north face slippers or uh i forgot the mule mule that's the word they use um been wearing for about three days pretty much everywhere you could think of uh cement grass uh kind of soft like turf so to speak um uh, hardwood whatever you may think they're um 
definitely meant for certain conditions. Like, these are not meant to be repeatedly, like, uh, what's the word people use? Suspension? Like, these are not used to support you uh, in, in, like, ways that you're going to be jumping, you're going to be taking heavy steps, i.e. running on, like, hardwood, running on cement, running the track, playing basketball, I guess. Um, there's just no support in the sole, which... With how flexible the shoe is, I guess you would kind of expect that, right? Um, they're comfortable walking in, per se. Like, they're not, like... It's not to say, like, you couldn't just walk through, like, let's say, grass uh, and be all right. You know, you'd be fine for the most part. And then they're still comfortable. Like, even if you are... It's hard, it's hard to uh, word this. Even if you're, like, walking on a harder uh, surface... The shoes are still comfortable. It's just like the feedback from the ground is not great. Like it's just like if you like what what I specifically did one time, right? I took a step up basically on a uh, a platform that was about yay thick, and it was about like a um, kind of a refined cement type of thing. So very hard, and I hit it with the middle of my um, the middle of my foot, so it would. In a normal shoe, that impact would be kind of evened out throughout the shoe. And you'd have a hard enough sole to kind of mitigate. And you'd have pretty, you know, neutral feedback. But this is a slipper. So when I stepped on that platform in the middle of my foot, my foot folded, molded around the, the cement. And that was not a good feeling. That hurt. <laughs> and then that absorption gets sent instead of through the shoe... It's absorbed by your foot, your ankle. I'm not a, you know, sports physician or anything like that. But the impact travels through the foot and ankle. So these are some shoes you can definitely get fucked up in. I just, getting back to my car today, uh, you know, two minutes ago, I um, was running and I had to kind of jump onto a platform. Not like a fucking sprinter, but like just to get up on a platform, I had to jump a little bit. And that feedback, it's just straight raw. Like pretty much almost as if you were going to step on something with your bare foot. It's just about like that, pretty much. Like, I would say maybe even a little bit worse. I don't know why I say that, but it just feels like it's like, if you were to just take these steps, like your bare foot, it may be a little bit better. I've never, like, walked anywhere outside of my bare foot. Like, seriously, so, you know, <laughs> that's me. I don't do that barefoot shit. But I feel like it's not anything at all positive with uh, this shoe when it comes to, like, basically anything that can impact, uh, you know, your foot basically so that, that's just to say that if you get these shoes don't expect to have like a like i would think to boost don't expect to have like a boost level support in the sole which is kind of what i spoke about when i first got these and did a uh, little impression just looking at it uh there's no type of like soul uh support whatsoever no soul strength no soul responsiveness if you step on like a fucking like a hard ass like stick that's like facing up like a hard ass pole a little small pole you're gonna feel that shit and uh you're gonna feel a lot of it throughout your leg so just think about that think about where you'd be more most likely to wear these if you're going like i don't know like sledding um i say snow i don't know how i've never walked in snow in these so i don't know but i imagine these would they're, they're supposed to be like supposedly partially waterproof and you can get a pretty good seal on them the way the uh the heel is the heel tab so i imagine something like that like very soft conditions these are meant to be worn in definitely not hard concrete jungle type fucking areas so just keep that in mind all right peace